15, uh, 15, sorry, FIFA 15 improvement. So I was just like, let me go see if I can get anything good in these packs. And uh, I decided to open a few up. So that's what will be running in the background. But today we're here talking to you guys again. If you guys don't already know, I am really active over on my Twitter. I literally, I tweet too much. I'm way too addicted to it, but I'd like to see what you guys have to say. And so I recently tweeted out, hey guys, what do you want to see included in, uh, or what do you want to see improved in FIFA 15 and something new that's in FIFA 15? And uh, excluding the servers because everyone's always just like server server servers I understand we don't like the EA servers But I tell you what to anyone who has played any of the uh, like 2k games like NBA 2k things like that um, Their servers are absolutely atrocious anyone who plays um, League of Legends as well, you know Riot their um, European servers go down a, a, a whole lot So I mean although we might not like EA servers in the reality of things guys They're really all not all that bad. They get a whole lot of bashing, but you have to remember how many people actually play this game and uh, as much as I enjoy bashing on the server sometimes it's just your own pikey internet anyways enough of that let's talk about a few of the things that were uh, suggested to me about FIFA 15 that you would like to see so one of the most common things that was kind of um, uh, tweeted at me was Pro clubs. Something needs to be done about pro clubs. And uh, I think it was about two FIFAs ago. So uh, I think, mm, was it 13 or 12? I think it actually maybe it was just 13. Um, they actually uh, introduced a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, they brought in uh, the fact that you can now choose whether the opponent will have a goalkeeper. Sometimes that's a bit glitchy. Um, they brought in a whole bunch of stuff. And it, to be honest with you, it did make um, clubs a little bit better. But it's not the change that it really needs. Um, clubs really needs an overhaul. Right now, it feels Feels really almost pointless like you're playing it without any sort of reward or reward or anything you know you have the similar division style thing which again was a good improvement but it wasn't exactly that big of a deal I want to see customization you know if I'm making my own club with my friends I want to be able to customize almost anything you know I want to be able to um, be, make my uh, kit make my badge you know for that everyone uh, that the whole team plays on all those sort of small things that I want to see now I understand in previous FIFAs, um, they haven't necessarily been able to do this, not because they don't want to do it for you guys, but it's because they simply aren't able to because uh, of how much they were allowed to store on the disc. I know that might sound a little bit weird, but that's actually the case. But now with the new capabilities of the next-gen consoles and things like that, you're actually able to do um, you know, a whole lot more with the game. So I am really banking on EA to go all out in FIFA 15. And uh, one of the things I want to see is just more customization. And not only in Pro Club, but also ultimate team again it's my own club it's my team my own ultimate team i want to be, be able to create my ultimate badge my ultimate kits you know what i mean guys and uh, maybe you have to uh, get certain um, patterns or uh, something like that in uh, packs and things like that i'd be totally cool with that and uh, sure you know i will be able to wear um the man uh the real madrid kit or things like that but i also want to have the option to uh create my own and i think that would be really really cool i i'd like to hear what you guys have to say now i'm sure there's uh, quite a few other videos out there with people with their own suggestions i haven't really watched too many of theirs but uh, i'm sure if you type in fifa 15 uh game suggestions or things like that i'm sure you get plenty of other videos in case you guys are interested in watching more of these sort of videos um but um yeah, so uh, that's a, a, one of the biggest things for me was just customization. That really needs it. So uh, next up is from Sam on Twitter. Jimmy underscore eats underscore fish says um, a lot less strength based play. Don't eliminate it completely, but reduce it. So um, he's pretty much talking about how in FIFA 15, um, you know, the likes of Balotelli, um, so many of the stronger players, Lukaku, Benteke, they are actually quite a bit more dominant in this game. Now, I don't entirely agree with Sam because if you guys remember last year, Year. We were all complaining pace is too much, you know, um, the strength of player light uh, should really make more of a difference And EA really did that they managed to make strength actually Something in the game like before it was uh, we didn't even care about strength It was all about pace now It's kind of a combination and what's end up happening is that the strong pacey players are stupidly good at this game and uh, which is you know it which is okay, but at the same time um, it has made for some slightly overpowered players in the likes of uh, Lukaku, Benteke, things like that. And uh, so I agree, maybe tone it down a little bit, but I'm scared that if they tone it down a little too much, you're just going to get the whole pace thing again. And uh, one of the things that uh, never fails to amuse me is the fact that people are constantly complaining about pace, but I think people choose to play with pacey players mainly because of the fact that it's the easiest way to play the game. I've seen um, this a guy called Hectic Jukes. I believe he plays on PlayStation. 
he is literally one of the most incredible players you've ever watched. He doesn't necessarily choose your Obama Yang and, uh, you know, Walcott players like that. He plays a 4 1 2 1 2 and just plays his own style, extremely passing. It's kind of like how Ear Japes plays to anyone who um, watched him, but he's a little bit better than Japes. And, uh, yeah, he just passes the ball so, so well. And it's really impressive and almost mesmerizing because he t he tears apart teams and you're like how is he how is he doing this without Aubameyang but it's literally down to the way you play and people found out that pace was the easiest way to play the game the easiest way to get results it wasn't the best way to play it but it was the easiest way so that's why people picked it up anyways let's take a look at uh, a few of the other things one was co-op ultimate team now that for me would be amazing um to anyone who remembered in FIFA 13 they had guest mode um so what could happen is if someone was around in my house we wanted to hop into an ultimate team game um they would just uh, press Y on the controller we could play um, with each other and that was uh, so much fun I believe uh, I did that with Toby last year as well and uh, yeah like I said it was really really good um, uh, but what I want to talk about is not only guest mode I would like actual co-op ultimate team and I mean I want to be able to um, send an invite to my friend and he can come and like he can live in America I can live in the UK but he can play on my team and we can both split the coins at the end of things and that would that for me would be really cool that would be something fresh original and maybe you know um, you both uh, get to put your coins together or something make a team but you can only play with that team when both of you play do you know what I mean it is kind of complex but I think it would be really cool and then suddenly you have these um, uh, where it's two Two player divisions or two player tournaments whatever you'd like so let's say for example me and Toby uh, we had this um, team that we could only use together and uh, we would go into a uh, two player or a co-op uh, divisions and we, we you know we were division one champions um, as co-ops and we were going up against other people that were co-op as well you know that sort of thing would be really cool I hope that I managed to explain that kind of well I understand it's actually kind of confusing now that I'm thinking about it but yeah hopefully you guys get that um, Tom over here says that he He'd like to see the German third division, Turkish league, and Ukrainian league um, in the ultimate team. And that's understandable, but um, I understand why EA haven't put that in yet. Or, well, not understand, but I know why they haven't put it in yet. Is mainly because uh, those leagues, uh, and I know uh, specifically for the Turkish league, they are asking because you have to get the rights to use these leagues. You know, you have to be able to um, go to a league and you're like, we'll give you this amount of money um, if you let us use your team names, players, kits, all that sort of thing, you know. And uh, it, the Turkish League was just asking for too much. And I, I very much assume it was uh, it was the same for the other leagues as well, which kind of bamboozles me a little bit because I don't see why the Turkish League would not would say no, because at the end of the day, it's a publicity for your teams, your league, all that stuff. And I really think the Turkish League are harming themselves more than anything so uh, before you go ahead and start beating EA round with a bat about why they don't have it it's actually uh, mainly down to the Turkish League um, for not doing that third German third division Ukrainian League I'm not entirely sure why that's not be done I can only imagine it might be a similar sort of thing or maybe there's just not much of a demand for those leagues I'm not sure Anyways, um, another one is uh, Robert says what he'd like to see in FIFA 15 is Luis Suarez still playing for Liverpool. Good luck with that one, buddy. And then, um, okay, we got Arca here. He says, changes in my player. Um, the accomplishments method is five years old. And I completely agree with him. The way that is all sorted out is just so outdated. They need to swap it up. Do something new. Yeah, I don't care what you do. Make it new. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the things. Another one is from Abed Nasser. I want to say I, I read one of this guy's tweets out in one of my previous videos about FIFA 15. Anyways, he's back and uh, he's, he's back with another good suggestion. He says international kits in uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. That would be pretty cool. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, again, uh, someone mentioned the co-op Ultimate Team again. And uh, online career mode. Yes, career mode was another thing that a lot of people uh, brought up to me. And I think online career mode would be really cool. I think it's quite hard to do. Anyone who's played Football Manager knows that you can do online. But it is kind of hard to do, in my opinion. I think it's a little bit trickier. And it would be awesome, you know, if I could be able to do it with a couple friends. Um, we could all do our career mode with each other. And, uh, of course, I'd like to think I'm a bit of a career mode king. At least uh, when I finish a career mode, anyways. Uh, the, yeah, I think that would be really cool to be able to do online but there is quite a lot of uh, technicalities and logistics that go into it but it is possible uh, football manager have shown that they're able to do it uh, I would like to see that happen next up is from Sam he says spectate other games in this you guys might be like why would I want to spectate my friends getting pumped five five nil uh, one you know I'd love to see my friends get pumped five nil just so I can record it and make them look like mugs but two you 
the biggest reason why I want to see spectate is not so I can take the piss out of my friends. It's so that we can have competitive FIFA. One of the biggest issues right now is that, you know, we can't have this awesome FIFA that we all really want because, uh, you know, you can't watch it on esports. You know, there's just no real competitive vibe around it is because you can't spectate the game. So unless you are um, playing it at an actual event, actual, actual live event, uh, well, a LAN event, I should say, then you're actually not really going to be able to, ha able to have a proper tournament or anything like that um, without, you know, anything cheesy going on. So with that being said, I would like to see um, spectator mode introduced, but will, do, do I think they're going to do it? Not, not too sure about that. Anyways, Toasted Bidgeon comes flying at me with more ways to encourage playing with bronze and silver teams. I absolutely agree, my friend. At the moment, the only reason to play with bronze and silver teams are to go into single matches and uh, come up against other bronze and silver teams. If you go into uh, your divisions, you're going to get matched up against gold players because the attitude the EA have taken towards um, divisions is bring your best team. If you don't bring your best team, you might struggle. So, uh, yeah, you're going to get matched up against gold, and it's really not all that fun unless you have some overpowered silver team which i have to admit isn't that frequent in fifa 14 as much as it was in fifa 13 and uh, uh one from zach was sort out clubs we've already talked a little bit about clubs and uh, another thing is a career mode storyline like nba and oh my god that would be amazing on my player like the nba one to anyone who has played nba i'm gonna imagine most of you guys haven't um just because nba isn't really a popular game over in the uk or wherever you guys are from it tends to be popular in the u.s but you know, if you've played that NBA My Player, that is so amazing. You know, you go to the point where you get sponsorships, you design your own shoes. Uh, there's just so much stuff you do in it, and it's literally amazing. So much fun to play. I've been playing it myself. Um, my guy's pretty high rated now, and it's just so you feel a lot more involved in it. And whereas in the current career mode or My Player, you just feel really far away from it. You know, you, what do you do? You you play your games. You hope you get transferred to a big club. There's no nothing around it. You know, nothing cool around it. We can certainly hope for that in FIFA 15 but that's really gonna wrap it up guys I don't want to ramble on for too much I honestly think I could talk about I talk, go on for about half an hour about this so if you would like to see a part two let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes on this video that would be absolutely amazing I do apologize for these packs they really were quite dire hopefully I can do a better or I can't really do better hopefully my luck does a better job and manages to get some better packs for you guys but I hope you have enjoyed listening uh, discussing about some FIFA 15 things and most importantly as always guys like I've been doing with a lot of these